In this video, we will start looking at Chapter 2, Occupational Knots. Ashley says that the sailor is responsible for nine-tenths of all recorded knots, but can't be credited with the first use of knots. This is why he adds in this chapter before delving into the chapters that focus mainly on the knots and their specifics. Chapter 2 has different trades and sports listed alphabetically, with different types of knots listed to show the characteristics or peculiar knots for each trade. Many of the uses for these knots date back to the time of this book's publishing, so even though the knot was once practical for certain situations, modern advancements and changes have done away with some particular uses. Some trades and sports listed in this chapter don't have any numbered entries, and so these won't be covered in these videos. The first entries of this chapter are listed under The Archer. A clove hitch with the end finished off with two half hitches is both common and practical, according to Ashley, to secure a bowstring to the lower end of a bow. The grip of a bow may consist of a wide turk's head knot. The bowstring knot, which is a loop knot, has been used for a long time in stringing of bows. The bowstring knot doubled is noted by Ashley as not having any clear advantage over the single version of the knot. He says it is possibly stronger, but may be awkward to string a bow with if in a hurry. The next listing is the artillery man. The artillery loop, which is also called man harness knot and harness loop, is tied in the bite of a rope. The artillery man would use it to haul field guns into position. The picket line hitch was used in tying up artillery horses. The artist comes next with knots that Ashley has found to be the most helpful when out sketching in windy weather. For anchoring his easel and canvas, he made use of a bowline knot, a kilig hitch, and an adjustable hitch. The most convenient way that Ashley found to carry wet sketches was to place two canvases face to face without touching and adding wire clips over the corners. He used a heavy cord with a bowline in one end, wrapped around the clips, and the end stuck through the bowline. He made this fast with a slipped half hitch. The next listing is the angler, with only one knot listed, as many more angler's knots will be listed under fisherman's knots. The knot listed isn't given a name, but Ashley says it's a common way of securing a line to a ring hook, and is often used in hand line and pole fishing. The last listing for the A's is the automobilist. Ashley describes a method of tying a rope to a car or truck axle for very short hauls. This hitch is attributed to Captain Daniel Mullins, who needed something for dragging diesel engines and heavy equipment on rollers at the wharf. This knot allows for instant and easy adjustment, as the end can be easily pulled through the hitches to adjust the length. This knot is exactly opposite of two half hitches, where the hitches are in the end. Captain Mullins' hitch has the hitches in the standing part. A variation of this knot involves doubling the end. This makes it easier to use in large and stiff material, and will make the knot more secure. The next automobilist knot is the axle hitch, which Ashley notes can be used for emergency towing. Ashley next discusses attaching luggage to running boards and other parts of a car with various knots. This was done with the help of the door handles as anchors, and speaks to the models of cars around during his time. If two handles approached each other, resembling a longhorn, then all that was needed was a round turn around both and two half hitches. If the handle had a heel and toe, the buoy rope hitch could be applied. Ashley says that a bail sling hitch will never bind and may be applied in a variety of ways. For door handles that had the risk of unlatching, Ashley recommended binding a stick to the handle and securing the knot to the stick to close the handle. If the handle was tapered or an odd shape, then the rolling hitch was the safest knot to use. This concludes all the listings that Ashley has for the A's, and in the next video we will look at those for the letter B.